Good morning, church. It's Tuesday, April 21st. Our scripture reading this morning is from Acts 2, 36, 37 through 41. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed this message were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 persons were added. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. In today's passage... We read about the response to Peter's message on the day of Pentecost. No one in the crowd seems to be denying Peter's claim that they are responsible for Jesus' crucifixion. Instead, it hurts them deeply. They want to know what to do. Peter tells them first to repent. The Greek word metamoia can be used to mean an expression of remorse, but it can also indicate gaining new understanding. The crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ requires a new understanding of the Messiah. Repentance in this case may mean the willingness to see in a new way, a better way, that is God's way. Peter tells the people gathered to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so their sins can be forgiven. Forgiveness can mean the pardon of sins, but perhaps here Peter means that the people can be released from their sins. To be freed from wrong thinking and wrongdoing is to become a new person, to participate in Christ's resurrection. The cleansing waters of baptism are not only the washing away of corruption, but they're also symbolic of dying with Christ to be raised with Christ to a new life. While we might be baptized only once, we may return over and over again to the cleansing power of the waters of our baptism. Repentance and baptism mark us as Christians as people who are forgiven and free, who seek to live into our resurrection in Jesus Christ, and who are free to be in authentic relationship with God and with one another by the power of the indwelling Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O Lord God, Make us sensitive to the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. When we see where we are wrong, help us to respond like those first believers asking, what should I do? Help us trust that in you there is always a better way. Help us to lean into the power of repentance and the waters of our baptisms so that we can see the evidence of resurrection in our own lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name. Come, let us praise the living Lord. Joyfully sing to our Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name. Praise and blessings to you this beautiful day. God bless.